Robin Sinner. I'm the Academy Tutor in Mayfair and I am holding the brand new Leica M10. It's a completely new design. It's much thinner, it has a new ISO dial, it has a new sensor, it has a faster processor, it has a completely redesigned menu. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically it's all about reducing down to the essentials. Like you've really listened to their photographers and they've eliminated video from the camera and they've just made the overall experience much more pleasurable. Okay, so talking about the actual dimensions of the camera, the big news is that this has been slimmed down to the same depth of the film analog camera. So on my left hand I have the Leica M7 here, um, obviously the M10 in my right hand. If I put them side by side, hopefully you can see that the actual depth is exactly the same. To be precise, it's 33.75 millimeters. So in the hand, that feels really great. In terms of focusing, it's, it's much, much easier from my own personal experience. The viewfinder itself is 0.73 magnification. Um, the one before was actually 0.68. Um, the actual experience from that is ex exactly the same in terms of your frame lines. Will, you know, the framing will be exactly the same. The, the M240 had a thicker body, so the magnification was less. So it's almost exactly the same magnification as, as let's say an M7, which is 0.72, this being 0.73. Um, so, but you know, the, in terms of the frame lines will be the same, but you'll have more field of view in terms of being able to, to see around your frame lines. One thing I didn't mention was also um, the eye relief. So it's, it's approximately 50% better eye relief. So if you're a spectacle wearer, and you know, you, you like to focus with, with glasses on, it's a much better experience now. So it's, it's a brand new sensor designed specifically for this camera. Um, the micro lens architecture of the sensor is designed to, you know, to draw out the best from the series of, of 25, 26 M lenses that are available. Um, it's vastly improved on, in terms of ISO. So its predecessor had a range from 200 to 3200 ISO. Um, with push options, pull and push options. This one has a new range of 100 at the lower end, all the way up to 50,000 at the top end. Um, I think from, yeah, as I said, from my personal experience, up to, well, it's, it's at least two stops improvement on, its, on, on the M240. Um, I was quite impressed of what I was seeing up to, you know, 8,000 and possibly slightly beyond that as well. So the M10 offers JPEG shooting, DNG shooting, of course, um, with a 14-bit depth. Combine that with the Maestro 2 processor that the camera has, which it actually shares in common with the Leica Q, the SL and the Leica S. Um, actually, if I put the camera into drive mode continuous, which I have, turn on the camera, just give you a sample of the speed of the camera now. So that's shooting five frames per second, DNG, and it just keeps going. Processors, you know, it's nice and responsive, never a delay. So this is the new ISO dial. It's a nod back to where the film winder would be on, a, on an analog, film analog camera. Um, two finger operation, press that up. And then we have an ISO range available on top from 100 all the way up to 6400. Um, that moves up in full stops, if you can see that. There is also um, an A, which is for auto ISO, when you can then set the parameters inside the menu. And you also have an M setting. The M setting allows you to then um, open up the full range of ISO. Um, so from 100 all the way up to 50,000 in third stop increments. So if I turn the camera around, what you see straight away is you have a favorites menu, which is completely customizable. So you can have up to, I think, 12 options in your favorites area. Um, idea is to set all the important parameters that you personally like to shoot with and not get bogged down by loads of things which you know are just going to get away with your shooting experience to access the main menu you scroll down you click there and that opens up the full list and we can just scroll down using the navigational pad on the side there with the new camera comes some new accessories um, like you have made a um, thumb grip here which slots into the hot shoe. So if I take that little protector out, if you can see that, I slot that in the back. Idea is it feels 
nice and firm and secure in the hand. It's actually milled out of solid brass as well, so it's the same material that's used in the M top plate. Um, just makes it really steady in the hand. We also have the half case protector, um, available in three options. This one obviously being the red version. You have the option of using the screen protector on the back, so if you want to you know, make your shooting really discreet and not be distracted by previewing your images on the back, that's a good advantage. Um, if I get this sitting nicely in the camera, like so, I can demonstrate that. So there it is. Actually adds quite a nice grip on the camera as well on the front. If I turn it around, you can see the removable screen protector. And we also have the Leica holster. This was actually introduced on a limited edition camera, the Leica, I think it was the M9 Titanium. Proved to be quite successful. The idea being that you wear this around your shoulder. Um, it come, the, the actual pouch will sit here and you're able to then access the camera nice and quickly and be ready for the shot. So this is the first um, Digital M camera that's offering Wi-Fi support, Wi-Fi connectivity with a app which is downloadable from the App Store. Um, that will give you control over shooting the camera remotely or having shot images. You can then um, download images stored on the SD card and then share them you know, wherever you want, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. It also gives you the option to transfer DNG files, not only the JPEGs, um, and then with the right um, app, with the right processor on your iPhone, you can then edit and style those images to your heart's content. The camera is priced at £5,600, technically available now, and I think you're going to have to probably join a waiting list um, if you want to get your hands on one.